Hello and welcome to another Zach Carnage video and this time you are taking a look at uh, the striking scorpion that I finally painted up. I actually did an unboxing of these fine cast miniatures pretty much as soon as they came out and I never got around to painting them and um, I'm doing a lot of revision at the moment so basically I've got this timetable which means that I do a couple of hours of work and then I get about 15 minutes free and then do some more work at lunch, some more work and like 15 minutes free again. So basically I've today I, I painted up this guy during all my little free times. Um, I would have liked to have done the whole group as like a batch painting thing, but um, there wasn't enough time because the paint would have dried when I was uh, mixing between all the greens. But here he is. Um, originally the green was a bit too blue uh, when I compared it to the pictures uh, because I only went up to Goblin Green um, still on old paints, yeah, uh, but started off at Dark Angels and was working up and I thought, hey, this looks nice, it's blended up through to Goblin Green and it looks fine, and then I compared it to, um, compared it to the pictures, and the pictures had a lot more yellow in the, in their green, so this is, um, with it gone up to a bit of Scorpion Green blended in there. Um, how close can we go? The eyes turn out, um, this this eye turned out better than the other one, but it turned out pretty good. And the gemstones were okay. This is actually the second Aldar model I've ever painted. So um, let me know what your opinion is on that. Um, I think it looks okay. I'm not so sure about having the green material for the trousers and the armor as well. Um, but that's how it is in the old codex, which I've got, the, the previous one, not the current one. I don't know if it's like that in the current one or not, but yeah, this is what it's like. Uh, I didn't realise there were so many gemstones on here until I actually had to go through and dot them all. And they're just everywhere. He's got them on the legs, on the arms, on the sword, on his face, on his chest, on his back. Yeah, they're everywhere. Um, hopefully you guys like it. Uh, I think it's um, a little bit darker, actually, than than the official colour scheme anyway. And uh, while I was painting this up, I actually had this really cool idea. I don't know if it actually ever happens or not. But basically, because all the aspect warriors have to be painted, they're meant to be painted in the same sort of colour scheme. I just wondered if, uh, I was thinking about how if everyone paint, had to paint them exactly the same, so everybody had the same aspect warriors. At first you'd think that was very boring because you know, everyone would have the same paint scheme and nobody would be very happy about having any individual stuff. But then I was thinking about how then you could get all the Eldar players coming together and being like a united force, have it, because all of their models would fit exactly together. And I just think that's a really cool idea, but I don't know if it, I don't know if it ever actually happens. Um, and I guess if you follow GW color schemes that will work with any army, um, but I don't know if it actually happens or not. I just, I think it would be really cool to bring loads and loads of models to a game and have a massive battle. Um, just for a little size comparison, because I thought this was kind of interesting, this is the uh, Cadre Fireblade that I did the other day. And what I find interesting is that he's actually a little bit taller um, when you stand them together, like this. Um, and the Elder are supposed to be really tall, so I suppose the tower kind of tall anyway, because they're supposed to be almost, well they end up being almost as tall as the Space Marine. And um, I'm just wondering what your opinion on this, because I mean, essentially this guy's pretty much standing up straight and the striking scorpion is obviously crouched a bit. Um, so he would be taller, but not sure how much taller. Let me know if you think the scale is actually appropriate or not, because I never, this is being one of like one of the few Eldar models I have, I'm not really sure if the scale is definitely perfect for them or not. Um, but yeah, also, uh, just a little quick note is the fact that the bases are different because this is, um, obviously this is one of the plastic kit miniatures that comes on its own, it's a single mini. So the you do get a significant base size difference and I'm wondering, you know, maybe that adds a little bit to it. But um, yeah, so this is just basically just to show the Striking Scorpion. Um, if you want to know any details about the paint scheme, uh, leave a comment down below and uh, I can... Uh, Hit you, I can uh, hit you with a, a message, not actually hit you, I can send you a message, um, or I can just leave a reply to the comment. And um, as always, 
uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and uh, subscribe. And uh, it's greatly appreciated. I'll see you in the next video.